Hey everyone, my name is Jeffrey Way, and welcome to a new premium exclusive video series called CSS Noob to Ninja. So, this series is designed specifically for those of you who are maybe coming over from a graphic design background, or even if you're uh, getting into web design for the very first time and you've learned a little bit of HTML, and now you'd like to take it a step further and learn how to uh, grasp all of the CSS. CSS itself is, is really quite simple to memorize. There's lots of properties, but you can memorize those surprisingly quick. The problem with CSS is dealing with all the different browser inconsistencies, which can truthfully be a, a pain in the butt. Uh, but luckily, I, with a little bit of work, I think you'll find that it's pretty easy to get your head around. And I'm going to show you from the absolute beginning, starting with the syntax of CSS, to uh, the properties, backgrounds, padding, margin, borders, color, font, floats, positioning. And then we'll learn how to apply those into an actual design. Uh, so this is going to be parts one through six. Each video is its own part, ranging from anywhere from five to 15 to 20 minutes. So I do hope you enjoy this. And before we get started in this introduction, I'd like you to download a couple of things that are just very common for debugging purposes. The first one uh, is very popular. You might have heard of it. It's called Firebug. Firebug is an extension specifically for Firefox that allows us to uh, debug our projects. So you can see here, if I open up Firebug, we have access to all of our CSS. I can click on this tool right here and just browse. If I want to view the styling, maybe for this section right here, I can see that that is contained within a list item and an anchor tag. I can also click on something and see the CSS that is associated with it. It's extremely, uh, extremely powerful, so you definitely need to download that. It's called getfirebug.com. And remember, it's exclusive to Firefox, so this isn't going to work in Safari. It'll be uh, extension only in Firefox that'll be available to you from the tools section, Firebug. Okay, the next one I want you to download is this bar right up here. It's called the Web Developer Toolbar by Chris Pedrick. Now, what this does is it's similar, but it offers more maybe of a quick conveniences. So if we come up here, we can easily disable JavaScript. We can disable cookies. We can edit CSS, which is what I use often. Uh, if I want to make live edits to my CSS, rather than uh, opening up an HTML page, adding a styling, saving it, coming back to the browser, refreshing the page, I can click Edit CSS and we have access to all the styling associated with it. So in this case, if I were just to delete everything, you can see that it's all in real time. So for example, don't worry if you don't understand this, just to give you the idea, if I want to set the background of the body to red, it's going to be immediate and that's really helpful. Beyond that, you have things like you can uh, apply rulers. So display ruler, if I want to make sure that everything lines up, I can check that. You'll do that a lot with your CSS. Lines are really important. Uh, go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, you can set outlines. You can validate your HTML easily. It's really helpful. So we're just going to search for uh, Chris Pederick. I'm sorry, I don't know the URL by heart. Web Developer Toolbar. Right here. And you can download it. And again, it's an extension for Firefox, but I see that he's just recently added one for Google, Google Chrome. So I haven't even checked that out. I'll do that after the video series. Okay, so that's really all I want to get to in this introduction is make sure that you have the tools necessary. As for a code editor, it's going to be assumed that you uh, know a modest level of HTML, what a div is, what a span is, what a heading tag is. But if you don't have a code editor or if you're still working on that, if you're on a Mac, I would recommend that you check out two of them. The first one is called TextMate, and this is what I most often use for quick edits. It's super, super fast. So if I drag in a folder here, it opens up immediately. I can edit it how I want. Uh, TextMate is really quite popular in the community. Now, another one that's equally popular is developed by a company called Panic, and it's called Coda. And Coda is really nice, especially uh, in cases if you're working on your server. Let's say you have files stored on your server and you want to edit them. Rather than downloading them, editing them, uploading them back to your FTP, you can work live on your site. So you can see here, I can log into my test site right now and edit the pages live in real time on the server. Really helpful. But in this case, we're only working with CSS. I'm only going to be using TextMate. Now, if you are on a PC instead, uh, there are a couple that I would recommend you take a look at. 
If you like the feel of text made over the course of this tutorial series, but you are on a PC, check out one called eText Editor. This is, people call it the TextMate for Windows, and that's really pretty accurate. It's a great program. Uh, you can also take a look at one, a very popular one called Notepad++. This one's been around for a while, and the reason is it just works really well, and that's free. Another one you can check out is Ntype. I like this one as well. I'd recommend any one of these. Just check out all of them and uh, make up your own mind. And this one's been in alpha for seemingly forever, but uh, nonetheless, it works really well. So take that into consideration as well. So get, get Firebug, get Chris Pedrick's Web Developer Toolbar, download one of the editors that I referenced, or another one if you like it more. And lastly, we're going to get started from scratch. So I want you to create a new folder called CSS Noob to Ninja. Call it whatever you want. And within it, you want to create a new file. This is a blank page called index.html. And when you got all that done, move on to the next entry in the series. Thanks.